<laughs> so, uh, here we are, I guess this is the first episode of Try It and Stuff. <laughs> it's a working title. <laughs> working title. Working title is Try and Stuff. Uh, we also talked about new parents try cheap products because we're broke. And, so that, <laughs> and, yeah, new parents. and new parents, so it's accurate. And today, we are reacting to Dollar Store Beer. This is Diesel Punk. It's backwards. Diesel Punk Pilsner. It's a really sick can. It reminds me of Metropolis. Metro you're going from Metropolis? I was thinking Sin City. Something like that. So, it's, it's, a, it's a Pilsner. 5.0% alcohol by volume. So. It doesn't really... <laughs> it's engineered for taste. But it doesn't have a whole lot of information other than what you just saw backwards on this screen. Uh, yeah. It's still got... <laughs> You know, but it does have the required beer labeling of the government warning. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. And consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. Brewed by World Brews in Rochester, New York. Dieselpunkbrew.com Ooh, we should go to the website. You can have a beer. Oh, the site can't be reached. I should probably do a picture and picture for that, but I'm probably not going to. Reload! Oh. Alright, did I miss something? I don't know where my phone is. I spelled diesel right, I did. Funkbrew.com. Okay. So the website is no longer in existence, which is mildly concerning. <laughs> we may be drinking a limited edition beer here, people. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Maybe we should go back and buy another six pack and then set it up on the shelf. It might be a collector's item later on. Because nobody bought it. <laughs> okay, it's. Uh, it's all the beer review websites that it shows up on, but it doesn't show up. The website doesn't it's exist. Its own website doesn't show up. The Beer Advocate. Gives it a 3.55 out Not of five. Bad. Not bad. Okay, right. what do you what do you expect out of this actually? Let's let's talk about that first. I've been drinking a lot of pilsners lately, so I expect it to be kind of along the lines of like Bud Light, but not sucky. A little more tasty. <laughs> our our kid is rolling, so we gotta roll it back over because that that that's where he's at. In life. A tap. A little tap. A little tap, 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 a room. I'm so glad that didn't go badly because I just kind of shook this around. Okay. It smells like a, like a... Not a cleaning solution, but it smells different. Foamy. Man, that's not a good reaction from you. What do you think? I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> Despite what my face just said. It's, um... On the band. I'm going to show you a picture of this again. Because it's fun. If you have ever seen Metropolis, and you probably haven't, it's an old movie. It's a silent movie from the 20s, maybe teens, I don't know. But it's, it's missing a ton of footage. <laughs> so they did the best they could with it. And they re-released it. They fixed it up. They remastered it. But there's big sections. You'll watch the movie, watch the movie. And a big chunk that says, film not found or something along those lines. And you just sit there and you watch that. And then the movie continues. But everything looks very much like this. So you're thinking that is what happened to it. They drank diesel punk brew and it was over. Maybe they drank it back in the 20s. No, wait. <laughs> Maybe somebody bought this, went back in time to the 20s, drank it all, made that movie, and then lost a bunch of footage. Or set the room on fire. I, I think parts of it burned up. 
I gotta look that up. I don't know. We'll look into it and get you that info. I didn't do research because I didn't plan on talking about old silent films in this video. That's a whole other topic of discussion. Well, I finished mine. It does have that bit of a bitter, acolic taste at the end of it. All in all, I'd, I'd agree with that 3.5 out of 5 rating. It's not a great beer, but it's not a bad beer at all. I'd buy it again. But for the intents of this show, probably going to buy something different. So you head on down to your local 99 cents and more store. Check out the beer selection, because so far, so good. Be prepared to pay more than 99 cents. Definitely more. Not and too much more. And more. Sidebar time. It wasn't burned up. They just lost it. They made the movie in the 20s. It disappeared. They found it in Argentina in the 60s, and it was about three quarters of the movie. I'm sure there's a good story behind it, but nobody knows it because the 1920s were a crazy time.